Hi, my name is Marco Torres. I'm the co-founder of MarketingBoost.com. And on this episode, I'm going to be showing you ways to build your business without discounting. I'm going to show you how to add value with travel incentives for Marketing Boost so that you can grow, you can scale, you can generate more, more referrals, video testimonials. Set your, I mean, I can give you, we're going to give you a million ideas on how you can scale and grow your business without discounting with the use of our travel incentives from marketingboost.com. See you on the show. Hello, fabulous person. Beata Shaletti, the growth architect. Welcome back to the Business Growth Architect Show, where we bring you cutting edge business strategies from some of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, business transformation experts, and visionaries who want to help you to scale your impact. Look for one tangible strategy that you can take back and implement right away. And now back to our guest. And welcome back. This is Beata Chalet, your host for the Business Growth Architect Show. Today, I'm talking with Marco Torres. Marco, welcome to the show. Tell us who do you are? What do we need to know about you? Hi. Thank you, Beata. Thank you for having me. My name is Marco Torres. Yeah, I'm the founder of a company called Marketing Boost. But I've been an entrepreneur all of my life since I was very young. I started by, by the age of 12. I was featured on the front page of a local newspaper for building the biggest paper route that they had ever seen. By the age of 23, I owned five restaurants and a nightclub. And then I went on to do generate overall in my total career over a billion dollars for my clients or for my, or for my own businesses and overall. So I've got a little bit of ideas. I've had some successes with different strategies on uh, that I hope I can share some value bombs that your listeners can take away with today. Well, I love that. You know, when you say strategy, that gets me super excited. So uh, tell me what strategy means to you. What, what, does, what importance does it play in your career and the way you approach business? Well, for me, uh, what does strategy mean? It's, it's like a plan of, it's obviously a plan of action to achieve a, a goal or a major goal. And for me, it's like playing a game of chess. You know, you need to know you need to know all of your assets, all the players on your team, what your what your members' skills are, and then based on what you've got available to you, like just like playing chess, what's still left on the table, you've got to you know plan your strategy from there, and use your team's assets to the to the best of your ability. So, and then again, it's it's kind of like war too. You know, you've got to. <laughs> You you've got to figure out when to when you know what what battles you can win when you when you feel like you need to step back maybe go back to get learn some new skills learn some new strategies always be learning something new so you can implement a new strategy. I love that. So strategy for you is almost like a moving a moving target, and it sounds like you're always looking for something new. So how do you how do you look for new strategies? How does how does anyone do that? And it's a kind of a trick question that I just thought of on the fly because when you said I'm always learning something new, how do you learn new strategies? I think that might be an important thing to share with our audience. That that is a good one. And I, I don't think of I don't share that often. But one of the things I've done for years is become a student of, of marketing, of advertising. You know, a lot of people like to speed through the commercials when, when they do sit around and watch TV or, you know, we just don't, we don't even want to be bothered by all of the commercials and all of the different marketers that are out there. And that's really the opportunity to learn from others in other industries. One, you know, you should obviously be watching what your competitors do, that you're, that you're in, in your niche. What are they doing? What could you learn from your competitors? What might, what? might you take away from them but the other thing is to learn from everybody else products are you know the way other marketers in completely different industries what are they doing because you could take one of the partial idea of somebody else's strategy and you could implement it into yours going wow i you know that made me take action and and, and for example when you do buy other products when you did click on somebody else's ad when you did go through their sales funnel and you bought whatever their widgets or services were you got to i take screenshots of of what it what it is that got my attention it's making me want to click the next step the the copy was engaging me to continue to read from one paragraph to the next and next thing I know, I'm ready to buy. Well, those you've got to 
you know, don't reinvent the wheel, emulate, model others that are, you know, that are if they're successful and see if you can implement some of those ideas into your product or service that you're selling. And if you could, you know, I call it kind of like copy and paste, but we really don't want to do that, but it's modeling. You can model other successes and, and tweak it to be, make it your own. Marco, I'm so glad you say that because I can make a complete confession here live on air. And that is that I, I do sign up a lot. And then sometimes when the copy is, is good, I do exactly that. I, I take the copy, I copy and paste it in one document so that I can follow through on the entire document on how do they take me through the, 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 the process of the first initial, how long are the emails? What are the, you know, what format are they using? Are they using the introduction line three pain points and then going to, so if this is your problem, then you must, and then they have the three outcomes. So I look for the, the cadence in their marketing to see what, what format do they follow? So very much to your point, you know, a lot of people go like, oh gosh, I I don't want to, you know, I get so much stuff. No, 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 no. You're missing the point here. People, you got to go in and you got to subscribe to as much as you possibly can. You pay attention to where the copy draws you in. So Ryan Leveresque, for example, uh, who does the ask method, which I'm studying right now as I'm building a quiz funnel. And his copy is so good that I find myself just like, like I, I get myself like completely sucked into his copy. Yeah. And then I go like, what is it about that? That is so good. That, that keeps me engaged in the copy. So I like this a lot, that strategy, you know, pointing this out for our audience listening and watching is not just some idea that's vaguely out there, but it is the studying of what other people are doing. Am I, am I getting that correctly? Absolutely. You know, and, and, study, and, 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 and studying not just your competitors, but any totally different product lines, totally whatever it is that grabbed your eye, you know, and, and if it grabbed your eye, obviously it's grabbing others. And when you're on Facebook, there's ways, for example, on Facebook, you can you can check out the if you saw an ad that you like, you can go and see from their Facebook page, there's transparency section. You can see just how many ads they're running and how much they're, you know, it's they're they're spending on ads. You can get an idea. You don't see the dollar amount, but you can see that they're if they're obviously doing a lot of ads, then they're successful. They wouldn't be continuing to spend a lot of money on Facebook. And so that that alone tells you, okay, this is maybe a strategy that I should study, that I should dissect, that I should reconstruct, or you know, uh, do like uh, try to just you know, there's entire industries wrapped around that, you know, called funnel hacking. And, and trade shows that people go to and spend thousands of dollars on how to, you know, how to hack somebody else's sales funnel. And really, it's a matter of, you know, in, even investing in some of these products and services. So you can go through the entire process from, from how they how they grabbed you with that hypnotic writing, how they moved you down the sales funnel, then you clicked and then it was, and then they had to upsell, you know, you click through and they had, you know, hey, buy product. You know, that's not all. If you buy product B to go with product A, you get the following bonus, the additional value add that they throw in instead of discounting. That's the other thing I love to coach my 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 clients to do is add value versus discounting by, by adding those bonuses, add a bonus two, add bonus three, whatever those bonuses might be. And at the end of the day, it's, you know, don't, don't think it's, that, it's not that hard to model. Like you just finished saying, you can model it. You can, you can dissect it. You can take examples from other page, other, other creative writing. And obviously you need to make it your own. You're not going to completely plagiarize the entire thing, but you're going to, you can get a lot of great ideas from others. Yes, I, I agree with you. So I'm, I'm glad that we were pointing this out to our listeners, because this is like one of the things that is often overlooked that people, instead of having a approach of curiosity, come in from a approach of annoyance. And instead of learning from people who've done it successfully before, from the perspective of curiosity, hmm, I wonder what they're doing. They go, man, you know, why am I being bombarded with this? It's like, this is your learning opportunity. So let's move on, Marco, to your favorite strategy and something tells me it has something to do with bonuses. So tell us all about that. 
Yeah, I definitely believe in. Well, first, I'm a big fan of automation and implementing whatever it is you're going, your strategy is going to be. You need to try to find, and there's a lot of tools to do that today. I think there's never been a better time to be an entrepreneur in today's world because so many tools are available affordably to, to, for example, automate everything, you know, your email, your text messaging, your voicemail broadcasting, your sales funnel pages, and so on. So, but what I like to train on as a strategy is stop discounting. In other words, many of us find ourselves, you know, we're all in a, in a, in a, in a world of, of sharks, all selling similar, probably we've got a lot of competitors for whatever it is you do. You likely have a lot of competition. If you don't, you may be in a in a too small of a of a world. If you don't have enough competitors, that means there's not an, it's not a big enough niche. There's not enough clients out there for your product or service. Possibly, I, I read that book you're talking about. Ask from Ryan. Several of his books. He talks about that in his books about you know make sure the business industry you're in has is not you're not the only one on the block because that might mean that could be good, but it's likely bad if you don't have some competitors. I'm going to jump right in here because there's a one thing I always say about that. If it hasn't been done before successfully, it's for one out of two reasons. Either everyone else is stupid or you are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's very likely true. I mean, you might be onto something, but likely you're not. <laughs> likely you're not. No, 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 no. Because, you know, and I did, Mark, you're going to get a kick out of this. I, I started a ebook company and I had this brilliant idea with two partners that we were going to do ebooks, but coffee table books as ebooks. And then one day it dawned on me, how many people, Marco, have gone into your home and looked at your iPad or tablet on your coffee table and says, oh, Marco, can I... Can I look at your coffee table books on your on your tablet? Yeah, never. Said nobody ever. Right. And uh, there went that. So in this particular <laughs> case, I was the one who was the stupid one. All right. So let's go back to, to bonuses versus discounts. Yeah, creating value. Well, one, the company that I currently have, just a quick over, in a nutshell, I mean, we are, a, uh, I'm going to plug my own business a little bit if you don't mind, then I'll tell oh, you. Oh, go ahead. We, we, we got to know what you do. Right. So in a nutshell, what I have is a, a marketing tool that allows you to be able to give away an unlimited amount of three different types of incentives that we offer. One is complimentary hotel stays at over 125 destinations and around the world, three night stays in places like Orlando, Las Vegas, Gatlinburg, New York, Myrtle Beach, Miami Beach, Daytona, 30 U.S. destinations, and then five night stays in places like Cancun, Mexico, Puerto Vallarta, four nights in Cabo San Lucas or Punta Cana, seven nights in places like Phuket, Thailand, or Bali. So those are really amazing, super high perceived value incentives that we teach our clients to how to add them as a, as a bonus value to whatever their call to action is. Then we also offer restaurant savings vouchers, good at restaurants all over the U.S. and Canada. About 100,000 businesses participate in that. And hotel savings cards that are good at over a million hotels all over the world. They come in increments of 100, 200, 300, and 500 dollars. So what can you use, do with our incentives? But before I get into our incentives, even if you don't use Marketing Boost product, you need to create your own incentives. For example, let's say you're a business coach. I understand you got a lot of clients that listen to your show that are business coaches or, or service providers. Yes, yeah, programs along that that line. You could create your own incentives. For example, let's say you know your goal is to get somebody to hire you for at least six months. You know, if they hire you, maybe you have a month-to-month -month agreement, no long-term contract required. But you know that if they don't stick with you for at least six months, there's there's not going to be the time required for the for them to uh, actually implement all of your ideas and see the value. So you, maybe you want to throw and say, but uh, the bonus you might add might be the seventh month free. So yeah, you can hire me for you know month to month, no obligation. But if you do step up and pay for six months in advance, I'm going to give you the seventh and eighth month free, or I'm going to give you you know, the, the a bonus course that maybe you wrote last year. So now you've got a seven hour pre-recorded course that you did last year. So now that's your, that's your bonus. You know, I'm going to do you. So you can may have some other products of your own that you're going to throw in as, as added value. But for Marketing Boost members, those that choose to check out what we do is you can create these high perceived value incentives by throwing in some of these bonuses with whatever your call to action is to get them to step further. For example, 
one of the challenges we all have, challenges and opportunities we now have today is these Zoom calls, you know, where you're, we're booking appointments, we're having these virtual conversations, we're no longer having to drive around the country to meet with people face-to-face. We have these incredible opportunities to meet with people online. But now people book appointments with you and then they don't show up because it's easier to be a no-show for a Zoom call than it is, you know, an in-person appointment when you show up and knock on their door. So these incentives can be used to, for example, to help book the appointment and more importantly, to get them to show up on time for the appointment. So you might say, look, book a no obligation appointment just to chat or see if it's a good fit to see if I can be you know, of service to you and if, uh, if I can actually help you just for showing up for the appointment. We know your time is super valuable. I think mine is as well. So if you'll show up for the appointment on time, I'm going to reward you with a $200 hotel savings card good at over a million hotels just for showing up on time for the appointment. And then once you get them on the call, now you might say, so here's the deal. I've got an incredible relationship with this travel partner of mine. I happen to have a few complimentary hotel stays available. If you'll book me, if you'll contract me for the six months as your business coach, I'm going to throw in the seventh month free. And on top of that, I'm going to give you on the anniversary of your six months, I'm going to reward you with a six day, five night complimentary hotel stay in Cancun, Mexico at a Triple A four diamond resort on the beach on me. Yeah, you're gonna you will need to get your own airfare and you're gonna have to pay the government taxes and fees, but I've got your hotel stay covered. How's that sound? Can we go ahead and move forward today with a six month agreement? You know, and, and boom, you're giving them a you know uh, a reason to take action today by creating some scarcity, some urgency, and throwing in a high value bonus as a carrot that you might hang. You know that you're gonna give them on the six month anniversary, for example. Should I could go on forever. There's there's a million ideas on different ways to skin this cat of how to use incentives, everything from soliciting more reviews, testimonials, video testimonials, referrals, just hundreds of ways to use these incentives to get people to persuade them to take an action that they might not have otherwise gone out of their way to do. So what I like about what you said, Mark, and I want to point this out to our audience, is that I think that this idea of giving a discount is, is, I don't want to say like a cancer, but it kind of is because people go, well, you know, usually this is the price, but only today I'm going to give it for you for that. And I'm going to take this off and I'm going to take this off. And so what happens And one of my, my teachers, my mentors, and that is Roy Williams from the Wizard Academy always said, when you do that, you train your clients to expect a sale and they will not buy unless there is a sale. And so your method is to completely bypass that psychologically because you're still giving them something. You're still using the scarcity principle, but it's not today only it's X, but it is if you want that in addition to what we already giving you this value packed offer, then you have to act. Exactly. What? So, so, so I have a trick question for you on this one. So, what does that do psychologically? Because I bet you studied the psycholo- psychology oh, yeah. behind there's, this. Oh, yeah. There's definitely been a lot of a lot of psychological psychological tests on stuff like this, and it's been proven really that w- humans we re- react better to anything other than than a discount. We react better to a buy one, get one freeze. We react better to bonus units, value, additional value added versus discounting. You, you prove it, you walk into any grocery store and you'll, at least in Florida where I'm from, you walk into the grocery store and the first few big bu- buckets at the entrance are, you know, buy one, get one free stuff. And, and they practically double the price anyway. You could have bought the same can of beans the day before for $3. Now there's two for $5.95. And, you know, but your reaction is, I didn't have any desire to buy beans, but now I'm here and I'm impulse and I'm getting two cans with the price of one and I'm feeling good about it. And uh, so maybe I saved, you know, 50 cents, but I got, and, and, I, and then the store also got me to spend double the amount because I bought two of what I didn't need in the first place. So not only did I take a, 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 a impulse purchase, but I may have spent more than I would have if I had just bought the one can of beans and walking down the aisle. So that's an example of that. Now, this same reaction works with, 
with nearly anything you know that you're selling. If you can add additional value, bonuses, months. Let's say you're a gym membership. You might be asking, you know, you know, people sign up. They're going to show up for the first three months, and then they're going to stop showing up because that's pretty, you know, in nature. Most people they'll go for a few weeks and then they'll start falling off. But you still want them to keep paying. So you might throw in that, you know, hey, if you uh, if you stick with us for that, that dangle that carrot. You know, if you if you're with me for six months and you've lost the 20 pounds, that's your goal. And we're going to do this and we're going to do that. On your anniversary, we're going to reward you with the following. Now, one of the questions people ask uh, all the time is, you know, it sounds too good to be true. How does this actually work? I mean, first of all, there's no timeshare presentations with any of these incentives. We totally revolutionized the industry. We made this an easy to use online platform. There's no hoops to jump through to use these incentives, no phone calls to make, no sales presentations to do. It's an online platform. After they activate the certificate, they'll have 18 months to select travel, to select their travel dates. And uh, the only key thing really is a few rules, like there's no group travel. You can't use these to organize uh, a big event, you know, in a convention for your entire client base. You can't, um, somebody's got to be over 21 years of age to use it. And they're they're going to need to pay, someone's got to pay the government taxes. The government's always going to get paid on these uh, complimentary hotel stays. At check-in the resort, the government expects to get paid the, their, those fees. So there is an activation fee to be paid. That can be paid by the client or by the marketing booth member. So if you had a high ticket item, you made enough money, you can choose to pay those government taxes for the client and give them a truly a complimentary hotel stay, or you can um, let the client pay it like most of our clients do. And they simply do a decent disclosure where they're co- covering, hey, I'm giving, I'm covering your hotel stay. You're, you're going to be on the hook for food and beverage, airfare or transportation, and of course, the government taxes. So it's a win-win-win. And that's the other big thing. The the way it works is we've convinced hotels around the world that we're going to help them fill rooms that they would have otherwise gone empty. So we, uh, we, we've we convinced hundreds of these hotels participating with us that a room that goes empty, they're lost, losing 100% of the revenue. When we put somebody in their rooms, they're generating some revenue. They're spending money at the, at the restaurants, the bars, the casino, the, the gift shop, extra nights, upgrade room types, you name it you know, excursion desk and, and spa and so on. So they're generating some revenue and they're getting value from it themselves and the client does. So it's a win-win-win for your client, for you, the Marketing Boost member, and for the resorts that are actually uh, receiving these. It's a, it's, a, it's an absolutely brilliant concept. So uh, for anyone who is listening, who is a service provider, specifically coaches, consultants, especially if you have a high ticket item, or even if you don't have a high ticket item yet and you're working on creating something that has massive value, make sure you reach out to Marco and we'll have all of that in the show notes on how to reach out. I I myself want to reach out now and figure out how to do that because I think it is a wonderful opportunity to also create a deeper relationship and to offer something that other people just generally don't offer. Because I will tell you this, Marco, and I don't know how you feel about this, but I don't think the incentive of giving yet another 10-hour online course is really much of an incentive these days because people are so Zoomed out, so online out that if I was going to do anything that was meaningful to me, I'm going to go on vacation. I think that's, you know. You know what? The timing has never been better because people are so sick and tired of, of lockdowns and everything else that the, our travel incentives have never been used to the extreme they are today. I call it revenge travel. People <laughs> they, revenge they're like, travel. Oh, yeah, they're <laughs> like, oh my God, I want to go somewhere. And so there, when they see our incentives, they're taking action. I've never seen so many activations and so much usage that we're getting today. So it's, it's that's fantastic. Bravo and, for you. So, so question for you now, let's, let's move it on the personal side. So why do you do what you do? What got you in this? In this, is it about making an impact? Is it about helping people sell? Is it about making lots of money, having a good life yourself, so you can check out all these hotels? What is what is it about for you? Tell us. Yeah, no, thank you. It has been a you know I've got other businesses as well. This business actually came about as a side product of an, of another one of our travel websites, and it's become my passion because. I'm helping because I really get a kick out of what our Facebook group alone has almost 28,000 business owners in the Facebook group. And I love the idea that I'm helping entrepreneurs, you know, from, from startups to bigger companies that are, are in some cases making millions of additional dollars in revenue 
to because of the these incentives and how they're using them. And we have clients around the world. So I really get a kick out of knowing that I'm helping, for example, my even my son, my son recently started his own business. He is he's a gun dealer and he's got a and he goes to gun shows around the, maybe some people may not like, you know, the gun show uh, uh, deal, but that's what he does. And he loves guns and he sells guns and he's, he became a gun dealer and he ro- goes around the country and around the state, you know, to the gun shows. And he's using our travel incentives and he stands out from the crowd at the gun show. Everybody, Taylor, everybody's got guns, all of them the same, all the different booths. He stands out from the crowd by saying, hey, we've got, you know, this special promotion going on. If you buy a gun, you get a complimentary hotel stay, your choice of Las Vegas or Orlando. And if you buy the bigger gun over here, if you buy this section of guns, you get five nights in Cancun. He's killing it. I mean, he's literally, you know, sold, uh, I can't even tell you the numbers, a serious amount of value from the, with, with using this bonus just by standing out. I've got, anyway, to answer your question, it's I get passionate about watching you know, it makes me want to raise my prices. We're only thirty-seven dollars a month, by the way. So to to use our service, it's it's only thirty-seven dollars a month for a business owner to use it for now. But you must act fast before the prices go up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a strategy show, okay? So let's yeah. just make sure that we add some scarcity here. He's mentioned it. He might raise the prices. I might you better raise get the on. Price. Yeah, yeah, you we, might we, you we, might we, better get on with it. Excellent. Exactly. So I, I like I like that a lot. That we are not just thinking about you know, making, making, making a profit, which is obviously what we in business for, but that we are looking into ways, Marco, to help people to, to stand out in different kind of ways and align with things that are valuable to people. And I think what it does is that it allows a conversation on a different, not so hokey level, but on a much more meaningful relationship, as I said, because if I think about some of the clients that I work with that spend thousands of dollars in helping me, you know, help them grow their authority, scale their impact. So if somebody spends thousands of dollars on mastermind or a strategy consulting deal, then they're going to need a vacation because they're doing a lot of work in building the strategy and implementing and getting this to a point. So they might actually need a vacation to (laughs) open up their mind uh, to have all this information come in and be able to, to percolate or, or get away and use that time to write out these strategies and come up with an implementation plan. So I think that you can also tie it into a different kind of purpose-driven outcome. So that's what I would be doing is that I'd say, well, if you are in a 12-week mastermind program and we're pushing it really hard to help you grow your authority, then you get this as part of the incentive of participating in this mastermind because I know that somewhere within there, you're going to be so probably a little bit overwhelmed or challenged or engaged that you might need the time to step away. And I'll give that to you as part of this, this program. That sounds like a phenomenal offer. So I, I want really our listeners to think along the lines of not just selling, but also what's the user experience that you are trying to create? Is that something, a quick we can get away? Would that be something that your clients actually could use as part of your program? Right. And you wrap it as that. And then what they do, they do with it. But I do believe that there is a lot of value add uh, to to what you do. Is there one thing you want to leave our audience with before we tell them on how they can find you? Any last piece I, of advice? I, or, or, I do. Or, I yeah, do. go Thank ahead. You, discussing that idea of authority. Let me share an idea that I've got a huge team of our members using using our incentives for and that is to, to lead by giving first, which is great for anybody trying to build an authority in their in their niche. And what I mean by that is a lot of our users are actually using our incentives to support local nonprofits and fundraising opportunities. And they will reach out to the nonprofit and say, look, my company is going to would like to sponsor your event, help you raise some money. I'm going to give you six of these complimentary hotel stays that I have, you can auction them off, make the minimum bid, raffle them, whatever it is. You keep 100% of the money. I just want the opportunity to you know, uh, meet meet the audience at the, on the day of the fundraising and tell them really quickly in an elevator, my elevator pitch of what I do. I'm the, I'm the real estate expert. I'm the business coach and this and that or the other. I'm glad to participate in supporting this cause. And you're going to set yourself up right there as the expert, the authority, the philanthropist, 
and rub shoulders with uh, with folks that can afford to be, you know, donating money to whatever the cause is and setting yourself up as that expert that they might say, you know, hey, he's here giving, not selling, and opens the door to, hey, what's your card? What do you do? I'd love to talk to you about that. And before you know it, you're, you know, you're just building your, your community, your personal brand in the community with whatever product or service you sell. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. So there you have it, people. You can imagine the different types of opportunities that will create for you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a founder, as a service provider in making your offer more attractive, building a deeper community impact, or even get your causes supported in a way that you didn't think you could support before building your authority and scaling your impact. Marco, where can we find out more about you? Just go to marketingboost.com. Very simple. We can get a seven-day free trial for, and then after that, it's $37 a month. I would recommend you immediately give yourself that trip to Cancun. We got an amazing resorts in Cancun that are participating right now. So if you've ever thought about being on the beach, we can help you with that. So uh, marketingboost.com, sign up for a free trial. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. It was an absolute pleasure to connect with you. Thank you, Vian. And that's it for us today. Thank you so much for listening. This is Biat Chalet, the Growth Architect. And that's it for us today. Thank you for listening and watching the Business Growth Architect Show. I enjoyed having you here. And for accountability, just take one of the strategies that you have heard, one thing that you can implement in your business immediately. Please leave comments. Don't forget to like and share this show. And if you have any questions about business, please put them in the comments. We are here for you. We're here to support you and help you to grow, build, and scale your own business. For more advice, please check out our website in the show notes below. Thank you again. This is Beat Chalet, the Growth Architect, and goodbye.